Alright family, greetings to you all and welcome to the channel. It's your brother Prince Ayoko sending my greetings to you from Queen's Guest House located in Tamale, the northern part of Ghana. How are you doing? How is your day going? How is your weekends going? How is our families at your side doing? And how is life uh, threatening you? I pray that each and every one of you is doing very well and I pray that the Almighty God and our ancestors will continue to put his blessings and his mercies on us as well as you know the blessings from the ancestors you know so um today i'm here once again at queen's guest house to show you some more progress about the project with regards to the plants with regards to the pop ceilings and with regards to some ideas that i had about my outside ceilings so that you get uh, to learn more about building and how to you know beautify your house so today I'm planting, uh, I mean both today and yesterday has been a planting time for me. I've been planting some plants on my flower pots. I've been planting some flowers on my flower pots that I bought at the Tamale uh, market. And it's all about, you know, beautifying Queen's guest house and making it look so nice. But before I continue with this video, please kindly uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new and click on the notifications button as well as you know share this video with your families and friends and like my videos as well so i'm going to take you through for you to see how i've planted i've already planted some of the plants and you know what i'm still going to plant so that you see how or uh, what i'm talking about um it's all about planting at queen's guest house and as you can see the plants, the plants is surviving very well. The plants is surviving pretty well. It's make, it's looking nice. It's looking nice. And I'm just updating you about the development. So I've taken more of them and transplanted, transplanted them into the flower pots. Because, you know, it looks so choked. It looks so choked. And even some of the most beautiful ones is hidden. So I just decided to you know, get some more clay pots and then transplant them into the clay pot to beautify the sitting place at Queen's Guest House. So, please follow me and see what I'm going to show you today. Meanwhile, in the meantime, I also have this nice it's called Azora Dwarf. This is called Azora Dwarf. So, it's a red flower and a yellow flower mixed together. So, when you plant it this way and it grows, it looks so beautiful. We have beautiful plants here. At Queen's guest house and good the plants is making it and it's so beautiful this particular flower that I'm holding you can see it has some small purple flowers on it it's called Queen in Boots Queen in Boots is a very beautiful flower that I'm using to beautify Queen's guest house so please keep watching and see my creativity <laughs> these are the plants that I planted first when I on my flower beds these are the flowers that I planted here first and they are making it so well. It is growing so well. So I decided to transplant some of them so that the flower bed wouldn't look so choked. And I also have this beautiful flower here. It is, you know, it has some nice white flower and the smell of it is so good. <laughs> yeah, and I have these purple flowers here as well. And there's some kind of mixed color flowers here. So, I, you know, the place is looking nice. It's, it's coming along. It's coming along very, very well. <laughs> Remember I told you that the pop ceiling guys are here. Japan is also here busily molding the uh, flower design for the pop ceilings. Japan. Kaola. So, when I say Kaola, it means how are you doing? Or what's going on? Or what's up? That's Kaola. So, Japan is also here very busily working. Their master is not around. I think he went to a different job, but the apprentices is here making it. So everything is coming along very well. So as you can see, these are all part of the beautifications. 
You see how I created the place. So this flower is here, and then this one is also here, you know, and it's just making it. I like, I like how I'm planting these flowers. This plant is making the place so nice. So as you can see, these are the ones that I've planted so far. To the uh, flower pots that I bought uh, about two days ago. I posted a video of this flower pots yesterday. Though it's not meant for flowers, this particular pot is what our you know mothers use to, to bath newly born babies. This is what they use to fetch water to bath newly born babies. We call it La, la Corbu in Gabani. In Gabani, we call it La Corbu. So I have, you know, I just planned very well and decided to use it to store, the, I mean, to make my flower pot since this place is already, you know, called Queen's Guest House. So everything of it, of, of it it's good and it's coming along very well. And I also have this nice flower pot here. It's very nice flower pot made in northern Ghana. It's very, very nice flower pot. And I planted all these beautiful flowers great, to just make it look more uh, beautiful. So as you can see, I have all these nice plants here. It has some nice flowers and it's very, very neat. Uh, so um, this are just the work that I've been doing uh, for the past couple of days. Um, for the past couple of days, this is what I've been doing. Just busy, you know, bring, bringing on my own creativity. Whilst my men are working, I'm also busy creating some flowers to beautify the place and to just make it look more beautiful. So you can see how the flowers is, is flowing. The flowers is looking so good and it's looking so beautiful. And you see how I've created the flowers. I've just made it in such a way that you know I'll blend the colors so when it starts to grow, it will look so well. This flower, for instance, when it grows, it has a yellow flower at the top of it. Like this place, that's where it grows. So when the yellow flower will be here. And all of these are purple flowers, very, very nice purple flowers. And I also have this, you know, flower here. But um, as a matter of fact, I always forget about the name of this particular flower, this particular plant. Um, I always see it at the background uh, of um, the blind guy, his wife, their life. Big up to you, family. Shout out to you, family, the blind guy. His wife, they are alive. Big up to you. I always see this plant on your background when you are doing your live videos. I, and this is the color that you have. I'm with the color. Do you remember this? This color is always on the background of your videos. So, please, what's the name? Show me the name or just share the name with me. Thank you, family. It's all about creativity. It's all about creativity to the peak. This is, this is high time creativity. <laughs> so I'm just um, working on creating some more beautiful plants at this guest house to make the place more natural and beautiful. So it's all about you know planting because my I have I have a very very green thumbs. I have very very green thumbs, and when I plant uh, plants, it doesn't just that survives. Whenever I plant plants, it survives very well. That's why I was asking you that you want me to be your gardener. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever wants me to be their gardener, they should show up in the comment section so that they will hire me to be their gardener since I'm, I have green thumbs. <laughs> yeah, so um, yeah, it's all about Queen's Guest House plants. And it's all about making it look so beautiful and natural. And I like the clay pots. I like the colors of the clay pots. Someone told me to paint them. And I said, no, 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 no. I can't, I can't paint them. I can't paint them at all. Because um, I don't understand why I should paint them. Because they have these nice natural looks. The flower pots is having all these beautiful natural uh, looks that has been made from clay. Pure natural clay. 
and I have to pay. I will spoil the nature of it. I just want it to go with the flow. No painting. Yeah. So I have this nice plants here, all about beautiful. It looks so, so, so beautiful. And um, as a matter of fact, I also had a plan. I had a good plan. And I was just thinking about it. As you know, um, this house is very big. This house is very big. And then moreover, um, there is ceilings from the inside, as you can see, to prevent lizards, wall geckos, spiders, and all kind of things from getting into the ceiling or inside the house. So I also planned and do something like that outside the compound. So when they started to put on the pop ceilings, the plaster of Paris ceilings, when they started to install it, the house has started to become very warm. Inside the house and the rooms has started to become very warm. And it is because the heat from the roof issues or the heat from the roof that comes into the ceilings doesn't get a space to go out. So I was just thinking about what to do in order to create some kind of ventilation for you know the heat inside the ceiling so that the rooms will have you know a good weather that is a kind of cool weather or if not cold but at least normal weather so i came out with an idea of using a net that we call bubble proof net to uh, create these ventilation holes for the ceilings that's the outside and the inside ceilings but not the ceilings to the rooms not the pop ceilings i'm talking about the wooden ceilings that i had for the uh, ends of the walls from the uh, from the inside and the outside so i'm gonna take you out and you see how my carpenters are doing it by me sharing my ideas and my plans with them so i'm gonna take you out for you to see some more meanwhile yeah enjoy watching the beautiful plants that's the beauty of queens just that's the beauty of queens queens guest house for life yeah it's coming along it's coming along it's coming along uh, it's just a baby steps, but trust me, it's going, it's moving. As you always know, I'm very, very busy, you know, especially when these guys are here working. I just keep my eyes on When these guys are here working, I keep my eyes on them and make sure everything is in order. So um, the plants is just, you know, surviving very well. They are very nice plants and, you know, just surviving. Plants are survivors, as you can see. I have a whole lot of beautiful plants here. We have two newcomers here, Jeremiah, right? Mm -hmm. We have brother Jeremiah here. Shakun is already here working. So, and this guy too is called Yahya. Yeah, Malam Yahya. <laughs> so, Mr. Yahya is also here. Mr. Yahya, Mr. Shakun. And Mr. Jeremiah is here busily molding uh, pop ceiling cement uh, moldings. This particular uh, thing that they are doing is called plaster of Paris. It's called plaster of Paris. So this is how they mold the boards to install on the ceilings to make it look nice. I'm going to show you how they finish with the other ceilings. And Jeremiah is also here. You know, Jeremiah is also here very busy molding the designs. To the series. Jeremiah, what's up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like you. I, I mean, I like how you guys are working on the project. Yeah. yeah. Jeremiah, where from you? You are from Togo. Yeah. It's my first time meeting you here today. Yeah. Wow, well, which part of Togo? Um, well, can you speak a little bit now? Uh, you are from Togo. Togo, from which part of, you know, which part of Togo? Uh, Lome. Lome. Yeah. Hey. Oh, that's awesome. You are an Ewe, right? Ewe. 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 Your name is it Kofi or Kofi? You can call Kofi or Kofi. Okay, so Master Kofi is also here. The same, I mean, uh, this same brother is also from Togo, and then Master Emmanuel is also here. You know, busily working. 
Yeah, so Master Ima and Master Kofi is also here, very busily working on the pop ceilings. They are just busily working on the pop ceilings, which is also known as plaster of Paris. So this is today, this is from the porch to one of the guest rooms. It's from the porch, and they are just busily working. It's just left with one room for you know the guest rooms to be finished. It's left with some one more rooms for the ceilings to the guest rooms to be finished before we can move to the reception and then move to the two stores that I have from the front of the guest house and then the public washrooms. And this is the washroom to the uh, guest room that they are making the ceilings right now. So as you can see, they finished the ceiling already. That's the pop ceiling. They finished the pop ceiling already. And they are just working on the porch to, to just finish it and move into the other room on Monday. Because Sundays, they don't work. They take Sundays to rest and to go to church. Do you remember me? asking master david the master of the pop ceilings to do the same ceiling that he i mean design that he has in his room the same pop ceiling design that he has at his room and he said yes he was gonna do it for me yes that's it he came over and did it for me so this is the ceilings that we have to the guest rooms you know that's the the four guest rooms that we have here this is the ceilings that we are having for it. It's just a single room with uh, a bathroom, a toilet, and then a small porch. And it's a very big room. It's not just a very simple single room. It's a big single room. And I like the pop ceiling designs that he created for this single room. It's very, very nice. I like it. Yeah, I like the pop ceiling design. It's gonna have some hidden lights from this place that you see that has the shade. It's gonna have some hidden lights there. So this is how it looks from here. That is, you know, from the entrance to the porch and then to the single room here. And then from here, this is the washroom. And just, you know, the ceiling itself is so good. I like it, I like it, I like it. So as you can see, this is how the guest rooms that they are working on right now looks. It's actually for guest rooms but i have more than four guest rooms here i have up to 10 guest rooms here and each guest guest room can accommodate up to two people the other guest rooms can accommodate up to three people so this is um the single guest rooms that i was talking about and this is this is the porch this is the porch and from here you move into the guest room and this is the ceiling I like this ceiling so all the four guest rooms around this line of the house has the same ceilings and from this uh, from here this is the washroom so that's how it looks yeah it's very nice it's very very nice I like it from here that's moving out from the guest room to the compound and when you come out that's when you start to see all the beautiful plants here and the beautiful walls with nice ceramic wall tiles just beautiful plants around here. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember the cactus with the ears? The ears has grown so long. See, that's the cactus with the ears. You see that? See how the ears has grown? <laughs> yeah, it has grown so long. And I have my lemon grass here, which is still growing. To those who has been asking me about Queen's Guest House, this is the latest developments at Queen's Guest House. Working on pop ceilings and working on, you know, creating ventilations for the ceilings or for the rooms. Yeah, I don't want 
Family, so you see the plan. This is the bugla proof that they are using. You can see it. So they're using this one, which people use for windows here. And then uh, I'm gonna show you how the carpenters are doing it. They are doing it very nicely. <laughs> Why are you spoiling my ceilings? Ali, we don't have sand in the mouth. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> just cracking some jokes. I'm asking them that why are they spoiling my sentence? <laughs> so this is how they do it. I sealed the place. Ali, when you finish, you come and put on these buttons very well. Just move it and make sure it gets closer to the wall. See, from the beginning, this is how I make the outside ceiling just to prevent lizards and other uh, you know creatures from getting into the ceiling like and, and rats as well you know rats are very stubborn but when they when they get anywhere closer they can't get into the house ah. so i'm making them to take some portions of it when they take those portions out then they'll fix it with um the burglar proof ali when you reach here you remove this one and then you put on the this place. Okay. Put on the net. Just remove the spoiled uh, plywood and then put on the net. So this is how they are doing it. They will use today to work on these places. And then today to work on, uh, at this, uh, on the outside and then tomorrow they will come back and work on the inside. So uh, you can see these are the guest rooms. You can see the ceilings from the inside. Very nice ceilings. Work, I mean, work is on course. Work is on course. They are working. Work here today. So you see, this is the plan. This is the plan that I'm saying. Like you see. So now, the the heat that is in the ceiling can easily come out from this part of the ceiling. Whenever the heat, you know, from the heat from the roof can easily come out from here. So that is where the ceilings will get it brief. To be coming out from here so that is a good plan and we also clean this bit here today as you can see we clean all the wood ah, sorry the, all the wheat the, the grasses here and the bushes we clean all of it just to make it look so beautiful but the place has to be beautiful you know? yeah we clean all of this place to be Clean all the weed just to make sure it looks more beautiful. This is how we are doing it. That's how we are doing it. You know, and it's ventilation. It is for ventilation. For ventilation. So all of these places is for ventilation. Just to make sure it has good ventilation. Added some nice looks to the ceilings. Just look at how it looks beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, family, this is where I'm going to come to the end of today's video. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your time. And as I always tell you, please kindly continue to support this channel. Because, you know, there's a lot of teachings on this channel with regards to building, with regards to some new plans about building, and with regards to everything that I've been sharing. Remember from the beginning of this project, when we started, I told you that I'm not going to hide any part of the plans with you. I'm going to share all the plans with you so that each and everyone will have an idea about building and what you can do with regards to your building. So um, continue to share this channel for people to learn more, continue to you know 
subscribe if you are new to the channel and you know, click on the notifications bell you know share it with your families and friends like the videos and when you have ideas that you know you think it's good for you to share with me with regards to this project you can share that with me when you have questions about what i'm doing you can ask me on the comment section of the video so that we can all share our ideas and knowledge together so thank you so much family i'm wishing all of you a very happy and productive weekend may the almighty god and our ancestors always continue to bless us with abundance of everything that we need in life it's your brother prince ayoko sending my peaceful and lovely weekend greetings to you once again from Prince guest house stay blessed stay positive keep keep pushing through in life never give up in life you know just work hard for whatever you want you know continue to be blessed continue to be loved and just you know live your life and be happy stay blessed stay focused till we meet again one love peace <laughs>